Welcome to Opportuno, episode 34, story time, The Lost Horse. That means, blessing in disguise. This story is read by the author, Tart Chung. There is a young girl living in a small town, dreaming to attend an elite college, learning from the best and becoming a novelist. As she was an excellent student, drawing praise from her teachers, becoming the class valedictorian, and being selected by her classmate to be most likely to become famous. She applied to some of the best universities to study with the master, to meet other brilliant students, and to give her the best opportunities to develop her career. She was disappointed and sad after receiving rejection letters one after another, and she was heartbroken and crestfallen, uncertain about her future, feeling lost and dejected. Her grandfather, a man of wisdom and kindness, told her an ancient Chinese Chen Yu story about a man losing his favorite horse, experiencing the twists and turns of life. He said, In a small village bordering two neighboring kingdoms lived an old man and his family. He owned several horses for farming his land and for transportation. One day his son told him that their most beloved horse had gone missing, probably crossing the border into the neighboring kingdom and being captured by unfriendly neighbors. His son was sad. But the old man consulted his son, telling him the future is unpredictable. A few months later, they found their horse ran back into their pasture, followed by a beautiful, handsome stallion. His son was delighted, elated by the good fortune, but his father told him that they should be cautious and should not be overjoyed. His grandson, a young man with great equestrian skill, was eager to ride this beautiful new horse. But he had an unfortunate accident, falling off the horse, suffering a concussion, and breaking his leg. The old man comforted his grandson, telling him the unpredictability of life. Shortly after, the two neighboring kingdoms went into a fierce war. Every young man in the village were conscripted into the army, except the grandson, unable to join because of his broken leg. The war was brutal, losing many lives on both sides, returning only one out of ten to the grieving village. The old man's grandson was spared, starting with the lost horse and the unforeseen events. Listening to her grandfather, the young girl nodded her head, seeing the wisdom in this ancient story, understanding the twists and turns of life, and making plans to handle the situation to the best of her ability, never giving up her dream. The End Chen Xiu shares the wisdom of Chinese culture from previous generations of Chinese. A Chen Xiu, spelled C-H-E-N-G-Y-U is usually only four Chinese characters long, making a Chenju very easy to communicate to others. Even though a Chenju is only about four characters long, the Chenju can communicate what it may have taken someone many years to learn. Many times, the Chenju is often explained with an accompanying short story. The author of this story, Tark Chung, host of the Wark with Tark YouTube channel, spelled W-O-K-W-I-T-H-T-A-K, learned Chenju during his childhood in China, and has written several modern stories of these ancient Chenju sayings. That is all for now. Please visit our website, opportuno.org. Thank you.